So Greece. There's a few images in Greece that stand the test of time. I mean, they were big then, they're big now. In the morning when you wake up, you go out the front door and you just follow the march of the penguins to the Parthenon. The middle of the painting had to be the Parthenon. It is the center of town, it's the heartbeat, it's the history, it's the reason you go there. And the food. Okay, I gotta talk to you about the food in Greece, because a lot of people will hop on a plane and go there just for that, and it's worth it. But here's a heads up tip. When you're eating, make sure you leave a little bit on the plate, because if you don't, they're gonna go, wow, he loves it, and they'll just keep bringing you food, plate after plate after plate. And if you're trying not to offend them by eating all of the food, they'll keep bringing it. When you go to the market, there's so many things you can buy. You get, they have togas, they have all the Greek mythology creatures and characters. But, uh, and you can get vases, and, and people will ask me, how much is a Grecian urn? And I hear it's about $10 an hour. I mean, that's a good deal. When you go and you see the artisan's work in ancient Greece, you realize that many of these people gave their life to one single project. And if you want to make something that people remember, you're gonna to have to put everything into it, and that's what they did. You could spend your whole life working on one building, that is commitment. It is a lifetime experience for so many people, and they gave it to you. Right. Yeah, there we go. Yes, I always wear my smoking jacket when I go to Greece, <laughs> because it's a place of sophistication, as I eat French fries from an unknown restaurant named after a clown. I don't know if you could see the projectile that shot out of my mouth, but I think it put out the cameraman's eye.